So when we last spoke, uh, we had a moment of success. Todd, my husband and hero and partner in crime, found some backup components. We got a call from the Today Show. They were gonna do a piece on us. Everything seemed amazing, perfect, finally, you know, reprieve. Then we got a call from our lab again. And guess what was happening? The components were leaking again. And we started to do all of this research and my husband became a total plastics expert. And now he can tell you things about plastic that I, I mean, it sounds like he's speaking like a neuroscientist. Um, is there such a thing? I know there's such a thing as a neurobiologist. Anyway, you know, you get my point. Um, so what we had was a kind of plastic called SAN, which S-A-N. And apparently when SAN forms in a mold, it's almost like a snowflake. So there are sort of weak points in the material. And there's always also a seam line from the molds. So almost like where the mold came together. And it's microscopic. Nobody in a million years would ever even see it. And what was happening was that we had a really heavy amount of essential oils in this lip gloss. There's lemon peel oil, and there's cranberry, and there's orange peel, and orange is actually a metabolism booster, so a little triple duty action. And the oils tend to expand. And so what was happening was where there was a weak point, the oils were kind of pushing the gloss through, causing the leaking. So we were freaking out, and what was happening was that some were perfect, and it wasn't happening to, and some weren't. So there was some good components and some bad. So what we had to do was not ship and miss our shipping dates again, have our stores get, oh, I'm sorry. And you know what? Oh, I think I have to take this. So now it's February. Um, we're gonna miss all of the March shipping dates. We already missed the UK date. I'm freaking out because we also have a launch event for some of the most influential bloggers to introduce them to this product and I won't have anything in store. On top of that, the Today Show is running. That's the biggest dream, amazing opportunity, but it's almost wasted because it's gonna run on the Today Show and they're gonna tell millions and millions of people and there's nowhere for them to buy it. I'm having a panic attacks, I'm getting an ulcer, you know, Todd is basically saying, let's put every single lip gloss aside and check it in one week and two weeks and three weeks and four weeks because all the mm, imperfect um, components will weed them out and keep the good ones. But we had to leave it for some time to make sure everything was okay. So I couldn't get out of the blogger event and change the date because everybody that I had booked, they were all going to charge me. So I'm having this blogger event. I really wanted to give all the girls lip glosses. There were 30 girls, there are six colors. I needed one of each color for all of them and a few extras just in case. So we go to the lab and we beg them, beg them, beg them to hand fill. And when you hand fill, you're basically taking a pastry squeezer and you're filling it up with a gloss and you're squeezing it in. And they charge like $3 a gloss to hand fill because it takes so much time. So now we're spending all this extra money and you know, keep realizing that I have a day job, Todd has a day job, so we're triple dutying life and we're running out of money and I'm going through my closet and pulling clothes I don't wear and thinking I'm gonna sell clothes and that's literally what I was doing for a couple hundred dollars here and a couple hundred dollars there, selling some of my favorite things. Um, not, not to be all pity me, but that's just showing you almost what we had to put into this company and the blood, sweat and tears to get out what we have now. Now, the blogger event was amazing and insane. But I also wanna tell you that what we were doing at the same time was having desk sides with all of the key magazine editors. And a desk side is when you go to the desk of the editor, you show them your product, you talk to them about the brand, you give them all the scoop, so it's more personal than just reading a press kit. And the reason they're so important is because A, it's really great to get to know these editors, and B, they're so busy, they don't have time to run all over the city and see everything and everybody, so the more you can come to them, the better. 
And a lot of these editors I had known for years and years and years because they were, you know, girls that I was writing with when I was sort of coming up in, in the magazine industry. And it was great to see old friends. So I was meeting with Star Magazine and uh, Us Magazine and Fitness and uh, Oprah and Allure and Glamour and Mary Claire and In Style and People and etc. And for the most part, you tend to leave the short lead magazines, which are like the weeklies or the newspapers, till later. Uh, but some of these girls we were seeing now, just to introduce them, because in the beginning we thought we had a March launch date. So P.S., not only is the Today Show running, but Oprah Magazine, you know, her high holiness was coming out with a piece. And again, nowhere to buy it yet. So there's that level of stress. But on the plus side, I'm also seeing how this business works and learning. Maybe in, in retrospect, I should have waited till every single, you know, piece of product was done, finished, wrapped, packaged, and in a warehouse before I even talk to a retailer, put a press kit together, but I didn't think any of these things that would go wrong would go wrong. So it's all good learnings and now we're all the better for it.